Tonight, on this Friday, criminals preying on people who are already fearful and frustrated. Tonight, a new threat to families in northwest Dallas already rocked by that deadly gas explosion, gas leaks, and also evacuations. We do have team coverage tonight for you of the gas leak disaster, starting with our Marianne Martinez. She's live in the neighborhood just north of Love Field. Well, Kaylee, the city and Atmos are warning about possible imposters who are posing as Atmos employees. The neighborhood has been flooded with them as they're working to restore service in that area. But as part of the warning, they're saying these people who are approaching residents are asking for keys, specifically for keys, saying they need them in order to keep working. A week ago, Daisy Gonzalez says her whole house shook when a home two houses away exploded, killing 12 year old Linda Rogers. She and her family were evacuated Friday, along with the rest of the neighborhood. Quickly, they started hearing stories about break ins at different homes. They just say that they're nervous for like people to break into their homes. Some residents tell us they have been staying in homes without gas. For many, that means no working stove, hot water, or heat, simply because they don't want their empty home to be a target. That's the reason why my dad just told us to bring our dogs. For in case if somebody would try to break in, they could like bark. There are extra police patrolling the streets, already crowded with gas utility repair crews. Now the city and Atmos are warning residents if a stranger comes to your door, Ask them to see a badge or ID and do not let them into your house unless they can prove who they work for. Sí, sí me preocupa, me preocupa un poco porque... This resident says it worries him because he doesn't know who's going to show up at his door and if he's safe. Now, today was the burial for 12 year old Linda Rogers, the little girl who was killed in an explosion one week ago today. Yesterday was her funeral, and in fact, so many people wanted to show up to pay their final respects to her. They actually held it at a different church than her home church in order to accommodate all of those people. Reporting live from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.